but we've seen throughout not just 2020, but the three years he has been on tour, he relishes these moments. It's pretty simple. If Lemmy rides, he wins a sixth event of the year. If he bucks off, Pacheco gets a second event of 2020. Yeah, and look, after what we've seen out of Lemmy in the in the long round today, I don't put him as an underdog against any bull. When when he rode Milkman away from his hand the way that he did, I like him in any matchup right now. Boogie Bomb is the bull he chose with the first pick. We've only seen this bull out twice this year. Lemmy rode him in Oklahoma City for 88 and three quarters. You have to figure that went a long way in him choosing this bull. Yeah, and then we got to see him after that, and, and they were a ton on him in Sioux Falls, over 90 on this bull. And so I feel like the bull is getting better, and Jose is aware that not only has he ridden him before, but he knows that he can be even more points on him this time. Boogie Bomb getting a bit explosive. But that's something we've all come to expect, and you know it's not phasing Lemmy whatsoever. Some calm moments. Talk about composure. If Lemmy's feeling any pressure at all, certainly he's not making it evident as he meticulously preps. And Boogie Bomb just keeps kind of, just keeps trying him at, at odd times. Like right when he's going, he gets his rope pulled up tight, right where, when he goes to take it across his hand, he'll jump and kick. Well, automatically that loosens your rope back up. So you got to start over, redo it. So there's not a lot going on in there as far as things to hold it up, but it's just at the right times where you've got to start over and it's taken a long time. I almost feel like, and of course I'm joking when I say this, but it's almost like he knows, right? It, it, it's such a big moment. He's just right. super chill. He's just making the, the rest of us sweat yeah. this out. <laughs> Kaiki Pacheco, meanwhile, is still in the locker room. Here we go for the win. Boom! Jose Vitor Lemmy defuses Boogie Bomb, lands another big fish, and cracks the Kaiki code in the process. That is win number six this year. This guy is so dialed in and so focused because the way this ride started wasn't perfect on the bull side. Like he jumps and kicks right as the gate cracks, crams him up in front of the chute. Okay, and then, now once he gets going, everything looks smooth. No, he's gonna get into the out gate a little bit, change his timing up. Jose never bobbled one time that's a flawless ride by the best bull rider in the world. Not only does Lemmy win the event, but with that 88 and a quarter, he also wins another round. It is now 13 as Kaiki, all he can do is clap and go back to the locker room as once again, our world number one <laughs> heads to the winner's circle as well as gets handed a ton of gear. What he cares about most, it's not the buckle. It won't be the interview, but it's those points and the gap that continues to widen to the rest of the world.